Fusion 360 is great for modeling stairs. Even modern monorail glass railing stairs. And here we have a nice template that will allow me to adjust stairs for different projects. I'm calling it Gamma. Okay, so what can we adjust here? First of all, the second flight of stairs is attached to the landing by a joint. And that joint can move in several directions. We can move it forward so that the plate is resting on the landing. We can adjust whether the landing, whether the plate sits on the landing or is embedded in the subfloor with our monorail control file. Here, the parameters control everything about both flights of stairs in the U configuration. Let's see, landing subfloor, landing plate depth. Let's check that. Suppose it rests on the joist rather than the subfloor, then the plywood subfloor, then we're gonna put in three quarters. All right, save that. And let's see how that is adjusted. There we go. It is in the subfloor. Let's change something else. Let's change the amount of risers for both the bottom flight and the total count of stairs. So we're going to make this eight and we're going to make this 17. Save that. All right, now let's update it. All right, it is adjusted, but we need to update the rigid group so that it is held in place by the joint in a consistent way. So let's do that. Edit rigid group, include child components, blam, there we go. Now let's edit some of the sub assemblies that are linked here so that we can update the handrail brackets. Here we go, edit that, and let's make it four things, okay, four repetitions there, and finish that. I'm not sure exactly how the bottom one is gonna work. Let's see here, uh, let's see. Okay. Of course, handrail brackets can also be moved manually. That's how I have the third one here. I, I copied it from one of the, the rest. Width is easy to change. If you wanted to change the configuration of them, then you'd have to switch them. I don't, it's not automatically switched. Oh, look at that. We have something weird happening here and it's on this side so that means that we need to change something something needs to change all right um okay it's actually connected to the top one so let's do that no it's not going to be here it's going to be in the rigid group update the rigid group there we go so, 
It would take a while to model this from scratch, but if you use the link below, you can download this template and uh, model your stairs faster for your particular project. Or you, I'm also available to create uh, template stairs of your configuration, floating stairs, uh, curved stairs, whatever sort of stairs you need. Now let's make sure that we can put this into a drawing. All right. It was already put into a drawing before, but we're going to update it now. Let's check it out. All right, it's sort of the overview look. And as we got here, let's see, we see things updating. Okay. All this is part of the template drawing that available in the link below. There we go. This unfortunately is not automatically generated. It, there is an automatic generation, but then I edit it in Excel and then I paste it back because I don't like the output exactly the way it is. Let's see how the, the automatic output would be. The output would be for all levels. It would be something a lot more involved. So I take that, I edit it and I'm able to consolidate certain um, descriptions and columns. That's why things are the way they are. All right. So this is what I do. It's Technicad. My name's Earl. Call me and we can work together on one of your templates.